Okay, hi everybody, it's Dara, and today we are going to make nut milk out of almonds. And this is a nut milk bag. So what we will need for today is a nut milk bag. They're like $7 at health food stores. I think I have them on my website, daradubinet.com. And a high performance blender, a Blendtec or a Vitamix, and almonds that have been soaked for eight hours and rinsed and drained. And the thing about almonds is that you want to get organic almonds and you want to get truly raw almonds that have not been pasteurized. So pay attention to those words, truly raw organic almonds. And then those have been soaked and rinsed. And then what I do is I take about three cups of water now I like to make my almond milk pretty thick, so I'll add a cup of almonds or a cup and a half of almonds to three cups of water. You can make it as thin or thick as you like. And I will use a pinch of, after, okay, so then also the other ingredients are salt and maybe a little bit of vanilla. If you wanna make it uh, vanilla flavored, you could add a date to make it sweet, or you could just make it plain. And if you make it plain and you don't sweeten it, then you could use it as a base for a raw soup. So, and the other thing is that this will last probably two or three days in the refrigerator. And the reason that we're making this today is because the store-bought store almond milk, while it might be organic, has been flash pasteurized so that it's losing a lot of its enzymes. And this is so filled with nutrients and enzymes because we've soaked the almonds to get the enzyme inhibitors off so that they're truly live. Think about it. If you plant a, a raw almond in the ground, versus a roasted almond, the raw almond is the one that's going to sprout life. And that's the whole thing about eating raw food, is that we're eating our food live and colorful, and that's what we want. We don't want our dead food, we want live food. So, as much as possible. So, there we go. So I'm gonna probably put in, this is a half a cup measuring, so this is one cup almonds. And I'll do another half cup and I'll see. I'll take a look at how thick it is. And it's nice if you want, after you blend it, to leave it sitting for 15 minutes to let it kind of soak in. It makes it a little creamier. Okay. So... Now we have the milk with the pulp. If you didn't have time to strain it, you didn't have a strainer, by all means you can use this. To make it creamy and without fiber in it, we're going to separate the pulp, which is really exciting because I use the pulp for cookies or breads and that's really fun. So you can store the pulp in the freezer and just keep adding pulp and it'll stay there for about a month. But I like to use it right away. I like to put it in the refrigerator. So basically the trick is to just gently squeeze. And I should take off my ring before I do that. Okay, gently squeeze, there's the doggies. Gently squeeze the milk. You don't wanna break a hole at the bottom, that's the only reason I say gently, but it'll just come out on its own. And then what I do is I rinse the carafe and that way there'll be no pulp in it, and I'll put the milk back in and blend. If I want to make it sweet, I'll put in a date and some, a little pinch of salt and some vanilla, or if I just want to leave it plain, and then I'll put it in a mason jar in the refrigerator and the pulp separately. Now the reason, so we can use this almond milk plain over raw living granola. Uh, we can use it over, we can use it as a base for a smoothie, a base for a soup, a creamy soup. And we can use it in our tonics. There's a lot of things we can do with almond milk. It's so nice to have. Almonds are the most alkaline of all the nuts. They've got the protein. And here we have it. So I will show you how beautiful it is. Mm. 
It looks just like milk. Plus, it's healthy. It's not going to clog up our system as milk can do. There's so many reasons not to have the dairy milk, but we get to have the creaminess nonetheless. So get your greens on everybody and I will see you really soon.